Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Divesoft TV. I'm your host, Joe Boskis. Today we're gonna to be talking about all the different steps of calibrating your rebreather. Just like all of our other mixed gas analyzers, you need to be calibrating your cells when you're using them. Uh, we recommend that you calibrate them every three days. So basically what we need to do is we need to tell the sensors this is what 100% oxygen looks like. The purest oxygen that we can get, usually what we have programmed on the computer is about 99.5%, which you can see that in your settings on your Liberty. Now, some of the tools that you're gonna be needing is that you're gonna need your calibration jig, which I already, which comes with your unit. Now, everything that comes in the box, uh, you have all the tools required for calibrating your rebreather. So you have your calibration jig, and we put it in the inhale side of the Liberty. You can see that it can only fit in one way. What I like to do is I like to talk about the teeth. They fit towards the sensors and it'll fit in very nice and seamlessly. Then you need your connection hose, which is this tube, this white tube that comes in. It's also part of the Set Blender Max kit. So all the Set Blender Max kit has also a lot of the tools that you can use for calibrating your Liberty rebreather minus the jig. But you have your connection hose, and then what we have here is we have our Pro Flow Limiter, that's part of your Set Blender Max kit. And we have, I uh, have this uh, low pressure hose uh, cap, but you'll see, and I'll show you guys on the bird's eye view, that you have the plug for a flow limiter here, so you can plug directly in. A really good tool, usually if you have your rebreather built up, you can just unscrew one of the Mavs, you can plug in, and that's how you can do your calibration. Now, what I'm gonna to use today is the flow limiter and I'm gonna use a separate source of oxygen. So, now you can break it down into four easy steps. And you'll see on the different view, I have my rebreather checklist right here on my iPad. And I also have the checklist on my iPhone as well. And we also have our paper checklist as well. So there's different modes that you can go through of doing your sensor calibration. The app is really nice because it does a lot of the calculations for you. And it also tells you if it's a good acceptable reading or if it's not a good acceptable reading and you should take note of it. But we'll do both today. If you're following us here on the app, we have sensor one, two, three, and four. So the first step that we need to do is we need to enter the millivoltage of our sensors in ambient air. So when we go to our Liberty handset here, push two buttons, we go into our surface mode main menu, we go into our pre-dive. There you will see calibration O2, 99.5%. Now you can see I don't have any gas flowing yet. And then we have it, we're in our main screen for our oxygen calibration. I can see here that I have sensor one reading at 10.65. I have sensor two reading at 10.86. Sensor three reading at 10.95, and then I have sensor four at 11.11. 11. So then if I go over to my DiveSoft app, I can enter in all of my sensors. You can see I rounded them all to a single decimal. So sensor one is reading 10.7, sensor two, 10.9, sensor three, 11.0, sensor four, 11.1. .1. So I entered all these into the app, and then I go ahead and I proceed to the next step. You can see that on my handset, I have not clicked uh, start yet. So, and we'll see here on our paperwork that we entered, we entered all of our values. And the way that we do this without the applic application, we have to do a, a little bit of a calculation because we want to see what we expect to read on our sensors. So here we have uh, we, I did the math right here. We want to multiply it by 4.76. Why 4.76? Because that's the coefficient of the slope for a, in a perfect reading. This is what we hope to reach. We have 50.932, 51.884, 52.36, 52 52.836. These are all in millivolts. And yes, look at that great handwriting. So we entered the sensors here. And so this is what we expect to get. We're gonna do plus or minus two millivolts, and then we're gonna see what we actually get. So then we go back to our app. Step one of uh, step two is connect the calibration jig to the central opening in the Liberty's head, which we have it here on the inhale side. 
and then we need to connect the hose to oxygen. So we have our flow limiter connected to our oxygen sensor and we have our connection hose. Then what we're gonna do, then we proceed to the next step. And then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly open the bottle. Slowly open the bottle. And then we should have gas flowing. Right. So you can see here on our, my handset that the flow is, the, the, mill of, the, the sensors are gonna begin moving up because they're starting to react with the oxygen. So we have our expected values on our app. We have our expected values that we wrote on our paperwork right here. Now it's gonna take a, a little bit, uh, a few moments, but we wanna make sure that everything stabilizes. And then we're gonna enter in our app um, what we actually got as well as write down what we got on our paperwork as well. Now we're beginning to see that our sensors are beginning to stabilize. So here we can enter on our app. Once everything begins to, to slow down, I have on sensor one, it's gonna change, by the time I'm writing this, it's gonna change probably a little bit. Four, nine, point eight, seven. 51.4, we can see that it's still moving. Five, sensor three, five point six three. And sensor four, 50.88. And you can see, which is really nice here on the app is that we can see that our sensors, we're getting a good value because it's within our acceptable range. Then what's very important on the handset is that we need to click start. And what it's doing is that the Liberty is waiting for the sensors to stabilize. And then it's very, very important. The last step is that we need to accept our new values. Must accept new values. You can see that it's within our range and we're set. And then on the application, you can confirm and then proceed to the next steps of your uh, checklist. Great. Thanks everyone. I hope this was a, an informative video and you guys were able to kind of get a step-by-step -step procedure of calibrating your oxygen sensors. Be sure to reach out to us on any of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Be sure to reach out to us if you guys have any other questions or want to see any other specific videos. Thanks everyone and I'll see you next time.